Alright, what we're going to be talking about in this one is going to be a little uh, interesting. What we're going to do is, this is our f of x function. It's actually a piecewise function, so this is kind of a quadratic, and we kind of have an absolute value, or maybe two linear equations, depending on our piecewise function. Um, but this is our f of x function. Now, we don't actually know what the function is, but we have its graph. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this stuff to it. So here you can see we have an a of negative one-half, we have a b of uh, negative 1, and we have a c of a positive 3. So when you have multiple transformations, we're going to use our nice little steps. So what we'll do is first we're going to do horizontal shifting. Well, our horizontal shift is going to be based on this right here. It's going to be our c. So what we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're basically going to make that shift right 1. So remember, it's the opposite of this. So we'll see if I can't draw it. But this point right here is negative 4, 0. So that's going to be, when you shift it right one, whoops, let me make it a different color. Uh, it's going to be, at, now it's going to be at negative three comma zero. This point is negative two comma four. So when you shift it right one, it'll be here at negative one comma four. This is at zero comma zero. So we're going to put it at one comma zero now. And then this point right here was two comma negative two. So it will now be at three comma negative two. And then this point right here was at 4, 0. So we're going to put it at 5, 0. Hopefully I found it in the right spot. Now, uh, again, I'm using, oh, wait a second. I can draw with my pencil. That's going to make it a lot easier. All right, let's see if we can't figure this out. So we'll just kind of connect the dots a little bit. So our function is going to look something like this. And then this point is going to be linear, so it's going to be more of a constant rate of change. So our graph would look like this. And this is, of course, our horizontal shifting. And we have shifted right one. Good. So let's see what, uh, what we do next. So horizontal shifting was the first thing. And the next thing, it says stretching and shrinking. Okay. The things that are going to be involved are not only uh, A, but also B. Well, in this one, all we have is we have a nice little uh, one half. So I think they're going to probably do this in two steps, yeah, reflecting. So we'll go ahead and do it in two steps. So we're going to do first, since our A is one half, we're going to have a horizontal shrink. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our Y values and multiply them by one half. Well, uh, this is now three comma zero, three comma zero times uh, the zero times, let me see, the zero times uh, one, negative one half is still going to be zero. This point right here is 4, so it's negative 1 comma 4. If you take this y value and multiply it by negative 1 half, I'll actually do the shrinking and the reflecting at the same time. When you do that, what it's going to give you is it's going to give you negative 1 now comma negative 2. So we'll be down here. And then this ordered pair was 1 comma 0. Well, the 1 stays the same, or it's not affected by this. But then uh, we're going to take our y value and multiply it by negative one-half. Well, zero times negative one-half will still give us the same thing. And then here, this value was uh, three comma two. Well, an A only affects the Y value, or sorry, negative two. So negative two times negative one-half will be a positive one. So we'll be here. I think it three, yeah. And then over on our last point, uh, this was five comma zero. Well, zero times negative one is still gonna be five. So our graph is actually going to look something like this. So as you can see, a couple things have happened on our graph. Not only has our... Whoa, I kind of screwed up there. Let me try that again. That was good for my first point. It should look a little something like this. Oh, man. I'm struggling with this. Let's see if I can't draw again. All right, that looks good. Now focus. There we go. Okay, that's close. And then this is going to be uh, more of a linear part right here. So it shouldn't be a curve. It should be a line. Uh, anyway, sorry for the bad artwork, but um, yeah, I didn't have any pictures of my mom's refrigerator, apparently. Uh, you can see what happened, but um, it not only shrunk our graph, so it is basically half the height. It did go from basically negative 2 to a positive 4, and now it's going from a negative 2 to a positive 1. So that's a difference of 3, where this was a difference of 6, so it's half its height. But also it flipped it upside down. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's called in reflecting about the x-axis. And then the last thing we need to deal with is this little positive 3 here. So uh, that did two things. Uh, it's our vertical uh, shrink, or stretch rather. I'll use STR. And then we reflected 
about the x-axis. So that A had two effects on our graph. Sorry, I was going to do this in two steps, but I'm just going to do it in, or four, but I'm just going to do it in three now. So now what we're going to do is after we do th that stuff, so I kind of did these two together, um, but now we need to do our vertical shifting. So our vertical shifting is going to be our D, so what we're going to do is we're going to move everything up three. So this point is going to move up three, so that was negative uh, three comma zero, so it will be at negative three comma three now. When you move this point up three, you're going to be right there, so we'll put it right here. When you move this point up three, you're going to be right there. When you move this point up three, uh, let's see, two over, should be here. And then this point up three will be here. So again, sorry about my wonderful artwork. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And this is going to be a straight line there and a straight line there. So that's the transformations. So we started with a function that we didn't actually know what the function was, and then we followed the rules to move our function.